Hello and welcome, this is S Tier Rank, and today I'm playing some more Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. Let's go ahead and hop in. Today I think that I might have new arena missions to play, so yeah, I want to check it out, see if maybe I can beat a few of these guys, get some OS chips, and yeah, move up in rank. So first off we have, yes, it's called Nosek, AC Bitter Promise. Oh, I wasn't reading the names of these. Let's see. Mad Stomp, Burn Pickaxe, Hermit, um, whoops, there it goes. S word. <laughs> okay. So let's see. An independent mercenary who snuck onto Rubicon hoping to get rich quick, taking advantage of the chaos brought about by the explanatory, extraplanetary corporation's forays. Under Nosak's economic theory, the funds of others are but extensions of his own resources. Interesting. Thus, he continues to take on debt with no intention of repayment, as in his eyes, the money was his anyway. It says it has the benefit of allowing him to buy the latest in corporate technology as soon as it hits the market and considers the power of his AC an asset to his credit score. Hmm. That's an interesting idea. Let's see if we can uh, collect on some debt here. Evaluation program number 26 entering rank E. Hmm, he does have some heavy weaponry. Subject AC, bitter promise. Call sign Nozark. Hmm, commencing evaluation. I'm not sure about this one, but we'll try it. Main system activating combat mode. Let's see. Just watching him for a minute, seeing what I can do to his setup, but looks like he's not dodging very well, so maybe we'll be able to get him after all. Yep, this will be an easy win. I think I've leveled up probably through the E rank, or at least most of it, based on how easy this guy is. I mean, I'm barely even hitting him. <laughs> Tank is not as nimble. Okay, another one down. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. Sweet. Been in less than a minute. All right, nice. Let's go back to the arena and let's see. So we've only got two chips. I guess we'll just go ahead and do another one. All right, so this is V6 Mater Link, I guess is how you say that. And this AC's name is Infection. Six squad leader of the Vespers, an Arquebus group's augmented human squad. Mater Link is a product of Generation 8, which was held to have advanced the process to the point of rendering all previous generations obsolete, bringing about a new age of augmentation. Unfailingly loyal to Archibus, she has a reliable track record in the field, and her conduct during missions establish her as a risk-averse problem solver. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 25, rank E. Subject AC, infection. Call sign mm. B6, okay. meter link. This is a pretty mean looking AC. Commencing evaluation. I like its emblem too. Main system, activating I need to do some more customization of my cosmetics. Oh, looks like they're using a pulse gun too. This guy is proving to be a little bit tougher but that's probably just because of the shield. Nope. 
we can land one more good hit. There we go. Oh, missed the bazooka though, I think. Oops. Oh, there we go. This guy's definitely better than the other one. Woo! Did it go up above me? Where did it go? Yep, this uh, high flying ability is uh, definitely having an impact on me. There we go. Oh, getting those last hits on me. There we go. I didn't know if I'd be able to pull back from that. Ooh, a lot harder. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. Give me that emblem. All right, nice. That is a really cool emblem. It looks like a robotic mosquito, sort of. Okay, let's see if there's anything that we can tune here to help out. Could get more damage mitigation. I think we'll go ahead and do that. I really kind of prefer these passes anyway, so that'd be nice. All right, let's see if we can get this one. Little Zewi, you, you. A warrior of the Rubicon Liberation Front. As an infant, Z was taken Rubicon by her parents, who, tempted by the promise of riches from coral mining, sought to make an illegal entry to the planet. Only Z survived the crash landing. She came under the guardianship of Uncle Flatwell of the Rubicon Liberation Front, and the core of an AC was the young orphan's cradle as she grew up to become a coral warrior. Okay. Let's see if we can crash her hopes and dreams. <laughs> Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 24, rank E. Subject AC, Yu Wei Yu, call sign, Little Ziyi. Commencing evaluation. Main system, activating combat mode. Hmm. See that little quick dodge that it did? Interesting. Well, there went my opportunity. Looks like I'm not going to have to worry about it though. It's not really going anywhere. I wonder if it's going to do something surprising all of a sudden. This fight seems way too easy compared to the previous one. Weird. I think I'll beat it again in like a minute. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. Alrighty then. Here we you. There we go. All right. V V seven or V seven Swinburn Guidance is its AC name. Ooh, it looks like a lobotomy in the picture. Gross. Seventh squad leader of the Vespers, our best groups, augmented human squad. Swinburn is a product of Generation Seven, the first to receive experimental augmentation using coral substitution technology. It's granted him enhanced aptitude as a pilot without the usual complications, but with no obvious indications of either efficacy or potential side effects, Swinburne's fears and doubts turn into an overpowering paranoia, the final jewel to crown his odious personality. Okay. Arena combat aptitude evaluation number 
Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 23, rank E, final evaluation. Subject AC, guidance, call sign V7 Swinburne. This looks like a heavy hitter. I'm not sure about this fight. We'll see. Weapon in its right hand looks mean. I don't know what it is. But it looks mean. Looks like I'm able to track them so far. Oh! Let him hit him. Let him hit me with that though. Okay, this feels like it's going to be a longer fight, but it might take me two tries, but I think that I can beat this one. It has the same bazooka or whatever it was that, that previous enemy did. So that seems to be a little bit weak against my current long range build. Totally let him hit me with that one. But not intentionally. Oh boy. Actually going more toe for toe or I'm gonna skiz on. This one's definitely taking more focus than the previous and the first one. It's interesting that it can stun in the air. Oh, he's starting to use a knife on me. Oh! Looks like maybe he's weaker at mid-range. Maybe that's where I should have been focusing this whole time. Yep. That's the weak point for this one. There we go. Looks like he's going beyond the wall there. Weird. Target destroyed. This concludes E-rank evaluation. Well done. Okay, nice. That's a really cool symbol. Incoming cars. Congratulations, you have surpassed rank E. We are glad to oversee your development as a mercenary. All Mind exists for all mercenaries. Alright, we did it. So, let's see, we got about half a million credits, so... Let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. What can we do with our four chips? Um, let's see. Boosting effectiveness of repair kits. Huh. That would be nice, actually. But I wonder if we should put our four chips into something else or save it for damage control. Because getting 15% damage mitigation is amazing. Um, let's see. Access speed optimization. Direct hit modifier. Damage tuning. Um, improves the precision of attacks against staggered enemies. Increase damage dealt. Okay. Just kind of doing a quick flip through, see if there's anything we want to do. Um, let's see. Core expansion. I wonder. L3 is triangle while equipped to activate pulse armor. So this is not a passive. None of those are, it looks like. And weapon bay. 
would allow us to have other stuff. That might be good to get because I've been running out of ammo. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Hold R3, enable ma manual aiming. Manual aiming on, disable it. Okay. I guess I'm going to go ahead and get that too. Why not? It'll be fun to have some of these abilities and we'll maybe focus on boosting passes after the next rank. Okay. Art shop. It's got to be some good stuff to unlock since we beat that chapter and stuff too. Oh, cool. Ransetsu AR. That looks beautiful. And a Scatling gun. Nice. Hmm. Let's keep seeing what else we have. Uh, I think a grenade launcher is new. Uh, let's see. Iridium. Okay. It looks like it has decent stats too. What else do we have? A napalm bomb launcher. Interesting. Oh, here's another cool thing. A laser shotgun. Char and it charges too. Okay, that's cool. And then lastly, this missile launcher. I think it maybe the last enemy had that one. Handheld missile launcher. Okay. It's a heavy one. 3250. Okay, what do we have up here? I thought I saw something new. The pile bunker. Um, let's see. This weapon gores the target with massive steel pile, obliterating it through sheer physical force. Charge to prime the firing hammer, enabling attacks that are enhanced by explosive damage. Hmm. That one's a tough pick, but it's very lightweight overall. Interesting. Um, but I bet you got a hit, though, and that's going to be the hard part. If you could hit with that when someone's stunned, I bet it would be epic, though. Alright, let's see what else we have. Um, looks like a laser shotgun. It looks like the same stuff, just on the different hand. Okay. Oh. Is this a new laser blade too? I think it might be. Well, that's cool. Let's see what we have here. Grenade cannon called Songbirds. Compact double barrel double barreled grenade cannon developed by Melanite. Okay. Hmm. We'll think about it. What's down here? Plasma missile launcher. I'm not sure I remember that being there. What about this one? Oh, this is another one too. So this one improves how? Less rounds, uh, less weight. Okay. Um, light compact weapon suitable for a wide range of builds and capable of multi-lock. Hmm. I don't know. I might buy that. Let's see what else we have. Okay, a pulse shield, a new pulse buckler. What about this? Uh, songbirds again. And then a missile launcher with 10 cells. Ooh, that might be cool. 165,000 though. Um, how much does it weigh? 5220, wow. A split missile launcher. Okay, what else? Oh, I think it, this bottom one's need for Meza. At least I don't remember seeing it. It's 177,000. And I wish that I could compare two of these at once. This 210,000, I'm guessing, is probably worth it overall. But let's see. So AP goes down, but the attitude goes up. So is the system recovery, boost speed, but the defenses all go down. A fair bit. Hmm. The load limit. The total load improves a little bit though, because I guess it's less weight. And energy load increases, unfortunately. Okay. This one, let's see, scan distance improves. I don't know if I care about that though. Okay, let's keep looking. 
now. The core. Yeah, this one's largely downsides. So I don't see it being worth it. Um, the total weight goes down a bit, but yeah, we'll keep going. Okay. Let's see. Fermeza again. Um, these weigh 11,220. And these weigh 26,740. Wow. So, arms load limit actually goes down. The AP goes up significantly, so as the defenses, they go up. It's only one point on anti-energy, so that's actually not that big of an improvement like I thought. Um, I don't know, this feels like it could be worth it. Boost speed barely goes down, so there's a QB. What else do we have? Okay, it weighs 6,700 more, but I mean, we can take that hit, I think. How much arms load limit goes down? Okay. Okay, um, I don't know if arms alone is enough to buy. How about legs? Got bipedals, and yeah, it doesn't look like anything totally worth it there. Okay, um, now how, oh, it's not going to show a change because I'm on tank, that's why I don't see any difference. Um, 1820 versus 2240, it looks like this one would be quite an improvement if I were to switch over. Hmm. Well, cool. Um. Let's go ahead and change my body up a little bit because I think I'd like to go back to being nimble again. And we'll go in here and we'll swap out the uh, legs to whatever we can. Um, I think this might be the only one we can switch to. Okay. And let's look at our booster situation. We'll go to this one and Let's see how that looks now in the part shop. Oh, I didn't even make it all the way through everything, too. Okay, so this one is actually less thrust, less thrust overall. Upper thrust goes up and less energy to go up as well. Quick boost goes down. Energy consumption improves. Hmm, this one's a tough call. I'm not sure if it's worth paying 151,000 for. Now let's look at this fire control. Improves close range and detrimental to the other two. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like playing it medium to long, so I might skip that for now. Now generators. This looks like a good thing for us to investigate a little bit. Um, 11,030, is that worth it? Energy output would just shoot through, you know, we can handle the weight, I believe. Okay, supply recovery and recharge drop. Let's see what else drops. Hmm. I guess we could buy it, but I don't know. I think I'd rather look at weapons because that was so expensive. All right, let's see. Just looking through the prices real fast. Um, let's sort by price, actually. If it'll let me. I don't think it has one. It's funny. I'll do my weight. It's a uh, approximation of value. The Gatling gun sounds interesting. It's 170 though. How about this grenade launcher? I bet it's hard to hit. That'd be the only problem with it though. I might try the Gatling gun just for fun. And I think that we'll do one new hand weapon and how about a new back unit of some sort. Um, 
plasma missile launcher sounded pretty cool. Songbird says 2. 202 versus 182. Wanted to see if there was anything more expensive for the left side. Hmm. I think that I would like to get something for the left side and we'll go with this. Okay. So. Let's go in here. Left back. There we go. And right arm. There we go. Okay. I think we've got to say advanced killing machine here. So let's back up. And I don't know. Let's see, we've already done all the arena we can do. And do we have more training? We do. However, I think I'd rather play a sortie now. And let's see about replays. The boss, Arsenal number two. I think this is the one with the um, guys that go invisible. And this boss battle is really hard, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and advance to a chapter two mission. Okay. Western Belius, uh, grid 86, reach destination for the objective. Infiltrate grid 86 and reach the center. Extra rewards based on number of enemies destroyed. Here's the request from Balaam Industries. They want you to carry out an advanced survey of the central ice field. To confirm the information Walter brought to them about the coral convergence. As for how to cross the Aulian Ocean, this is the Intercontinental Cargo Launcher installed on the upper level of Grid 086. You could use it to launch your AC to the ice field. Grid 086 is occupied by the Dozers, outlaws who treat coral like a drug. It's also the territory of a belligerent group of arms dealers who call themselves R.A.D. Be prepared for a perilous journey. I'll be here to support you, Raven. Let me handle getting us into the grid. I'm fairly adept at analyzing systems. And manipulating them too. Okay. Looks like we got us a hacker AI with us. Commencing infiltration to grid 086. Creating backdoor into system. Deactivating lock on vertical catapult. Connecting steam cylinders. Let's get to work, shall we? Main system, activating combat mode. Marker data. So let's head toward the elevator going to the upper level. Oh, it's like a weird thing flying me into the plasma shooter. That's cool. Gatling gun seems decent so far too. means I'm going to fight through everybody from the arena. That'd be cool. Hmm. 
Oh, another one to take on. You know, R.A.D. loves a good welcome party. Come on in and let's get acquainted. How about you? Oh, Come goodness. on out. this is powerful. Hmm. I just realized I didn't equip my AC with additional weapons with the weapon bay thing when I should have Oh, I think I remember seeing a little bit of this video in the earliest trailers of the game. I remember this crawlspace area looking intense. a little bit more maze-like than other levels. I like it. Alright, nice. Uh-oh. Hopefully I can control myself and get out of here. Cinderella there. Oh, there's something explosive up ahead. I wonder if I can take that out. Picking up multiple MTs. Try carefully. Alright. Let's see now. Hmm. I wonder if this will get on. You noticed the fireworks I left for you. <laughs> You're a smart cookie, aren't you? Nice. Oh, I can't get a hit on this one. Another tetrapod has a shield this time. This is a lie. Mm 
Oh nice, a resupply. Good. Let's see. I was wondering if there's any rotting on that, but it looks like there's not. Okay. You're not afraid of anything, are you? I like that. Oh, mercy. The Dozers are certainly living up to their reputation. My cat is free stuff out of the top. That's cool. Oh, magma everywhere too now. Jeez. We thought of everything for this. Oh my. They weren't kidding about that being a hard hit. Jeez. Well, I have to use a repair kit. If I get hit again, I'm dead. Well, I have no idea how to take this one on. I kind of observe it, but it's uh, kind of overwhelming me. One repair kit remaining. So it only has that like one spot to hit too. This guided stuff could take us a fair bit over there, but I don't know. Nope. No repair kits remaining. There we go. Let's get that done. I wonder if it's going to run at me. Yep. Pattern change, I bet. Yep. Feels like it's different, at least. If I had been holding in my Gatling gun, so I'll try to call it help, huh? <laughs> okay. It's too focused on using my range stuff. Sixty. All right, I'll take it. No new messages. Raven, we have received a job from RAD's leader, Karma. This could just be another one of her traps. But, after the impression you left on her last time, I think it's unlikely. Let's take a look at the briefing. Alright, let's see. So, do you have a bit more money now? But, um, let's see. I think I might actually replay that mission because it was a ton of fun and um, relatively easy overall, but I could get at least a B rank on it. Let me handle getting us
This time I will use my Gatling gun. Main system activating combat mode. We'll just boost right over to our uh, elevator and we'll disregard these enemies. Guys, we that was Carla, leader of our unit, a formidable dose of faction. She joined them three years ago, bringing with her a crew of junk wizards and hackers. Kept us waiting for it. Told you we love a good party. There you go. Stick up this other one, and I think I'll be able to do the unlock. Through much more quickly this time. I feel like there's probably a secret enemy on this level somewhere. There's more to it than when I first played it. To the bus fight. You're not afraid of anything, are you? I like that in tourists. Too 
Spam it till we get it down to shock. Interestingly, it is targeting that top piece, I think. There we go, we're getting some good hits. I think we'll be able to beat it much more quickly this time. Myself get hit. No. How do you use one of my repair kits? So there goes my S rank. Ooh, shoot. The magma got me. Wow, I was doing good there for a while, but it kind of fell apart towards the end. I'm guessing I'm gonna be because I have to use my repair kits. Maybe a C. Would've been cool if I could have used uh, those against the enemy. A D. Holy crap! I wonder what I have to do to do better on that. Maybe it's because of all the repair kit usage. I like how the music is turning a little bit more dreary, I would describe it. It's weird. Alright, let's see. I think I'm going to try this one. Eliminate the Dozer Faction. Eliminate the Junker Coyotes, the Dozer Faction, Invading Grid 86. Extra rewards based on the number of enemies destroyed.
Okay, let's do it. Your handler didn't authorize this sort of either. But we shouldn't miss this chance. I'll support you. Main system, activating combat mode. Let's get rolling, tourist. Get out there and bag me some coyotes. All right. Moving in, Raven. Let's oh, there's something back here. Well, I thought there was a target lock. Maybe not. Hey! We got an AC! Never seen one like that before. You must have got a sweet deal from Carla. Send in the punchers and kickers! Oops. There you go. Clean as a whistle. Moving on, tourist. Assume it's gonna be this way. I'll mark their location. Ah, okay. Figured you could handle this on your own. Looks like I've got to so climb around a little bit. Oh, time to got some maintenance anyhow. Look, fella, we got company. Oh, lots of missiles. That dumbass rummy. That one of RAD's newbies. We'll blow the sky high. Okay, we got two of them. Whoa, jeez. Couple of those hit hard. Jeez. These guys are no good. Okay. How about these dudes? Overwhelm them with superior firepower. <laughs> All right. Looks like it's over. Guess I was right to pick you for the job. Oh, uh, I bet this level is right now, for speedruns. It's my turn to help you. Wow. That's short. That was only like what, three minutes, maybe four. I could replay that for sure. Let's go back into here, and I want to try this one one more time because I bet we could get, hopefully at least a B rank. Main system activating combat mode. Let's get rolling, tourist. Get out there and bag me some coyotes. They're already moving in, Raven. Oh, 
got company. Oops, time to turn back. <laughs> and it ain't dumbass running. That one of our <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh, I think I'm gonna blow through my booster again. I wish I could skip to the end of it without having listened to the dialogue. Thankfully it's not too long. Okay, well I'll settle for an A rank for now. Good. Alright. We've got 811,000. I think that's probably a perfect stopping point for today because I have enough that I could get, you know, two, three new parts that would be decent and, uh, you know, experiment with them later. I could go ahead and get this big generator and see how that helps. But energy supply efficiency and capacity goes up a lot. I don't know, this sounds like it really could be pretty epic. I think I'll go ahead and get that, install it, and try it one more time on that level, and then we'll go back. So let's go to here, and let's try that level one more time, just to see if I can feel a difference. Um, here we go. So good. It does feel like it's just a tiny bit snappier. I'm not sure I can describe it, but that was really fast. Alright, let's see about these two guys. Okay, that was a lot faster not having fallen off and like had to come back, so I, was right to I do think that that generator made a difference too, now, like I didn't falter through all this, and I feel like my booster ended up working better, like it was regenerating more quickly or something. I don't know, it felt good. Still only an A rank, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and roll credits and say thanks for watching. It's been STR Inc. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube at STR Inc. I'll have an upload on YouTube soon. Thanks and have a good day.